Hi, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to protect a VB6 application with QLM. You should refer to the article that's available on our support site. The article is called Protect a VB6 App with QLM. We're going to walk through the article during this tutorial, so we're going to launch QLM. If you've created your own product, use your own product. If you're evaluating QLM, we recommend that you use the Demo 1.0 product. Then, we're going to go to the Protect Application tab. We're going to step through, then select the product. If you're evaluating, select the Demo License Server. Next, we want to pick the language of the application. In our case, that would be VB6. This is where you can customize the look and feel of the wizard. We're going to keep all the default values. And then, you're going to select the folder here. It's already selected in my case. But just select the folder where you want to store these customizations and click Save. Two files will be created. One is an XML file. The other one is a class file that you're going to add to your VB6 project. We're done with the QLM management for now. Let's continue with the article. We finish these steps here. Now we're going to copy some files to where our VB6 project is located. We're going to copy files from here. So let's do that. This is the folder, and these are the four files we need to copy. So I'll copy them and just paste them where my VB6 project is located. Then you're going to have to add some references to your VB6 project. So I'm just going to create a new VB6 project. And I'll add some references. And the last reference is the reference to the QLM license lib TLB. Then I'll save my project in this folder. OK, let's continue through the instructions. We've completed step 5, and in step 6, we're going to add some code to the VB6 project. So the first thing we're going to add is when the form is open, we're going to call a function to check the license. Double-click on your form, and you're going to get your form load event. Type check license, and go back. There's more code that you need to add. Just copy and paste this code in your application. Then, we need to add the License Validator class to the project. So, click here, Add, Class Module, pick Class Module, and click Open. Go back to the folder, and open this with Notepad, or any other tool. Copy it to the clipboard, and paste it here. Then, change the class name to License Validator. OK, so we've done this. Finally, we have to declare some global variables. Go back to your project, go to the top, and then I have to declare another one. That's it. Now save all our files. Let me just put it in the right folder. Now we're going to run our application. 
the first time it runs, it's going to look for a license. Since no license is found, the QLM license wizard is going to be launched. So let's step through the license wizard and pick the option Activate My License Online. Now we need to enter an activation key. So go back to the Management Console. Go to the Manage Keys tab and click Create Activation Key. Just leave the default options. And a new key is created. So I'll just copy this key and paste it here. It will tell you that the key needs to be activated. Click the Activate button and the key is activated. Then your application has started. The next time you launch your application, it should just start right away without asking for a license key. This completes the VB6 tutorial. Thank you.